Hello and welcome to this course. If you want to learn Unity by building lots of games, then this is the perfect course for you. In this course, we are going to build multiple 2D and 3D games using Unity step by step. You will learn by building a 2D egg catching game, 2D endless runner dino runner game, 3D maze ball game, 2D dodging block game, a 3D endless runner android game, a coin collecting game and much more. If you are new to computer programming, there's a complete section dedicated to C-sharp scripting where you can learn C-sharp from scratch. So if you always wanted to learn game development by building lots of practical games, enroll now, get started and I will see you inside the course. Hello and welcome to this Unity game development course. Thank you so much for taking this course. So before we get started, let's take a look at what we're going to be learning inside this course. So let's get started. So this course is a project based course. So here we have multiple different 2D and 3D games that you're going to build in this course. As you can see here, we have a cool dino run game, which is going to be a 2D endless runner. Here we have a 3D maze ball game, which is going to be a cool 3D board kind of game. Here as you can see, we have a block dodger game, which will be a 2D game. And here we're going to have another 3D endless runner game. Here we're going to have a 2D egg catching game. And here as well, we have a soccer ball game where you're going to control the ball and collect some coins. And here we also have an optional C sharp section. So if you are new to C sharp scripting, you can check out this section and learn about C sharp scripting before diving into building games. So these are the different things that you're going to be learning in this course. So I hope you're really excited. So before you get started, let me give a little bit introduction of mine so that we can get to know about each other. My name is Raja and I'm founder of Charger Games and I have been teaching game development, computer programming and different kind of things on my YouTube channel and on different platforms for several years. As you can see here, I have multiple different best-selling courses. Also, I have many different Unity game development and coding related videos on my YouTube channel named Charger Games. And here I have also got multiple videos with millions of views. So I love teaching and learning as well. And in this course, I have tried explaining everything in the simplest possible way. So with that being said, I hope you are really excited to learn all these things with me. So let's get started building multiple games with Unity. Hi, this is Raja from Charger Games and welcome back to this section of this course. So in this section, we're going to learn how to build a 2D egg catcher game. So this is going to be very, very simple and cool looking game. And I will try to explain everything to you in simple ways. So before we get started, let's take a look at what you're going to be building in this section. So as you can see here, we have this game, as you can see right here. And this game pretty much works on both PC and mobile as well. So currently, as you can see here, we have the egg catcher. Here I have the play button and here we have the bucket where we have to catch the eggs. So I'm going to go and click on play to check the game. I can click on play and the game starts and then I can control the bucket and move it left to right and just by doing this I can catch the eggs and if I miss one egg as you can see game over happens I can press here once again and the game gets started all right the same way we can also check it on an Android device so from here I'm gonna go to this device simulator and from there I'm gonna choose this Google Pixel 5 or any other phone that you want and from here as you can see here we have the simulator I can go ahead and click on play to start the game I can make it full screen and I can click on play and as you can see the game starts I can control it with touch and I can restart again click on play and just by touching the bucket I can move it to anywhere I want and catch the eggs and if I miss one the game over happens I can go to the main menu and that's how the game is so as you can see, this is how the game looks like. This is a very, very simple game, but it's fun to play and easy to build. So I hope you're really excited to build this game. So from the next videos, we will start working on this game and building this game. So thank you so much for watching and I want to see you in the next video. Hi, this is Raja from Charger Games and welcome back to this video. So in this section, we will start building a cool Dino Run Endless 2D Runner game. So before we get started, let's go and take a look at what I'm going to be building at the end of this section. So let's go and click on play. 
and this is our dino run as you can see this is how the main menu of the game looks like here we have the play button and exit button whenever we click on the play button the game starts so let's click and as you can see the game starts here we have our dino i can go ahead and dodge the obstacles by jumping and whenever we tap on the screen automatically it jumps and whenever we collide the dino dies this game over panel starts and i can restart the game again and then again i can go ahead and tap on our screen or click the mouse to make the dino jump and then i can play the game and as you can see here we have our score which increases as i jump the obstacles and whenever i collide the game over happens from here i can click on the menu to go back to the main menu and here we have a cool title text animation playing and here we have two buttons and things are looking pretty good so this is a cool 2d endless runner game that we're gonna build in this section so i hope you're really excited to build this game with me i am very excited so let's go ahead and start building this dino run game hey everyone welcome back to this video this is raja from charger games and in this section we're going to start creating a simple maze ball game so before we get started let's go and check a look at what you're going to be building at the end of this section so let's go and play test the game so i'm going to go and click on play and as you can see currently we have the time left the time is showing up here and if i go ahead and finish the level by finishing the maze and going out before the time left i actually win the game and as you can see level cleared is shown but if i go ahead and i actually fail the level that means i uh, cannot go out of the maze within the given time then what happens is the game over happens and whenever the game over happens i cannot play anymore i cannot rotate the maze anymore and i cannot do anything and only thing i can do is i can restart the level so whenever this happens i can simply click here and restart the level and the level actually starts again and this way from here again i can simply go here and win the game and you will see win text is shown and i have won the game so this is the game that we're gonna build in this section this is a very very simple game but while building this we're gonna learn a lot of new things so i hope you're really excited to learn all these things with me so let's get started building this maze ball game hi everyone this is raja and welcome back to this video so in this video we're gonna learn how to build a simple cool android game start to finish within a very short time so before we get started let's take a look at what you're gonna be building at the end of this video so as you can see here we have the device simulator opened so i'm going to click on play and as you can see this is the game this is the block dodge game i can simply click on tap to start and automatically the player is here i can tap on the left to move left i can tap on the right to move to right i can dodge the blocks and if i collide with the blocks automatically the game gets restarted i can tap again and move it like this and as you can see here we have the score which gets updated and this way the game keeps running so this is a very simple game but it is it looks really cool and just by building this simple game you will learn how to build a complete game start to finish step by step and the explanations will be less because we're gonna go really fast so i hope you're really excited so let's get started building this vlog dodge game